Welcome to Alien Investigations, the show that investigates UFOs, alien phenomenon, and strange news around the world. Ronnie here with Alien Investigations. In this episode, we're going to be investigating a story about a ghost train that disappeared along with 104 passengers as it entered a tunnel that was carved into the Lombard Mountains. Now, in case you didn't know, disappearances of planes and trains throughout history is pretty typical when it comes to one place that's over the water known as the Bermuda Triangle. But in this case, this is quite different because it happened over land. And just recently, there were some reports in the UK that several people seen a sighting of a ghost plane that was flying low that was dark and that didn't make any kind of a sound. So could this be that this train actually slipped into a different dimension and did time traveling? Let's take a closer look. Rome, June 14, 1911. Italian railway company known as Zanetta set up a free trial ride for representatives of the rich community as an advertising campaign to demonstrate a new type of excursion train. The train left one afternoon from the train station in Rome with three cars and 100 passengers and a crew of six for a tour of all the local sites. As they headed for the tunnel, a one meter long and three foot wide tunnel carved into the mountains of Lombard, the passengers were enjoying themselves, drinking champagne and gossiping. Just before reaching the tunnel, the train slowed down and a gust of black smoke went into the air. Two passengers, who felt that something was off, jumped from the decelerated train seconds before and went inside the tunnel. The train went into the tunnel and was never seen again. One of the passengers who had jumped off later discussed the details about the incident in an Italian newspaper. Quote, he said, I heard an unclear humming sound. Beyond the black smoke, I could see a milky white fog creeping from the tunnel. It literally swallowed the train like a wave. And with it, the first car of our ill-fated train split open. It became so horrifying. The train was barely moving, so I jumped from the car, and my eyes caught another passenger who jumped at the same time. We both hit the ground hard, and that was the last thing I remember. Exploring the tunnel seemed to be a waste of time, for there was not a single trace to explain the train's disappearance. Frightened Italians avoided using the railway soon after the incident. Now, to me, this is very strange that this incident was not widely discussed in the mass media. But then again, the mass media doesn't discuss certain things. Now, since a whole train went missing along with hundreds of rich Italian passengers, this to me would have had a strong public interest, in my opinion. But only a few lines were mentioned in the local newspaper and the world press. Now, this is the story. Now, after searching for these online details, I couldn't really find anything in any kind of archives about the newspaper or the world press. So I can't be certain that this story is true or if it was simply made up. However, some of the facts are later during World War II, a bomb ended up blasting through the tunnel's arch opening, which completely cut off access to it. Now, to bring a little bit of credibility to this story, the railway museum still keeps a model with the railway, tunnel, and locomotive with the three cars. And nobody would recollect this accident if not for one of the relatives of one of the passengers who were looking through some of the archives in 1926 and found an interesting record. It's said that in Mexico, 104 Italians showed up from nowhere 
and all of them affirmed that they were traveling from Rome. And that record was dated 1845. The Italians were considered as mad and put into a psychiatric hospital. The things and clothes didn't correspond to that time. And one of the belongings, a tobacco box with the sign 1907, is still kept in Mexico today. So it seems that the train could have slipped into another dimension, 66 years into the past. You know, time travel has been in history for a long time now, despite what you know. In fact, one of the more bizarre accounts involved the supposed attempt of the Navy in the 1930s to develop a technology that could make an entire ship invisible to the naked eye. But these experiments had some unintended consequences that led to the project being shut down and buried. Until a man, Alec Balik, who claimed to have worked on the project, blew the whistle on its cover-up. The stories soon became an inspiration for the 1980s sci-fi movie, The Philadelphia Experiment, and later Netflix's series, Stranger Things. To basically sum up this story, they apparently used one of Tesla's inventions called a zero-time reference generator, where the device supposedly locks to the Earth's magnetic fields and acts as a cosmological reference with the electromagnetic fields at the center of the galaxy. Now, they were originally just trying to make the ship invisible, but later learned the ship had actually traveled in time. The ship, the USS Eldridge, disappeared for several hours on the second time they tried this experiment. But when it rematerialized, some of the crew experienced being violently ill, some engulfed in flames, and other molecule fused and bonded with the ship. So the story goes into a lot more detail, but the reason I'm mentioning this story is because of the explanation of how time travel was possible. Nikola Tesla's device, the Zero Time Generator, was the key to return the ship back to its original location. According to Balik, we live in a five-dimensional reality, with time being the fourth and the fifth dimension. Balik said that every human is given a set of locks that lock them to a point of time from which they came. But the experiment of this ship ruptured those time references upon returning to Philadelphia. So this could possibly be what happened to this train. So I don't know guys. Leave me your thoughts below on what you think about this. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification of each new episode we upload. If you like the show, give us a smash up. If you hate it, give us a smash down. Either way, we'll see you in the next episode and we hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching Alien Investigations. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe because there is more great stuff to come. And always remember guys to have your phones and cameras ready because you never know when you'll see something strange or unexplainable. I'll see you right back here every Wednesday with fresh new episodes of Alien Investigations. Hey brother, watch another! <laughs>